fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. To Monaco for this weekend's Formula One Grand Prix. It's a race that is truly steeped in history, but before the drivers turn their attention to winning, they first need to get through today's tricky practice session. Hey guys, my name is CJ's Gaming, and today I'm back with another video, and today I'm back with part 6 of my Jolien Palmer career mode. It's the turn of the Monaco Grand Prix, the creme de la creme of the F1 season. I don't know why I said it so weirdly, but yeah, Monaco, spectacle, a gem, whatever you want to call it. Some hate it, some like it. It's not very good for overtaking, I'll tell you that. But it has a lot of history behind it. So that's probably why it's got like all this like phase and um, like goodness about it. But anyway, on our like little test laps, on the turn one, we had Daniel Ricciardo coming out of the pits, which like we had to like make past and get past, which we actually didn't do. Uh, as you see, go over Nova Chicane. But anyway, let's go into qualifying. And hopefully we can get through. Anyway, in Q1, we set a 1.14.6, I think that says. We could have cut the corner on turn 1. So, like, but that does manage to get us through to Q2. We come in 8th. Our teammates in 11th, so he's on, like dicing with the edge on the edge. And in Q2, we set a 1. I can't read that. A 1.15.7, which puts us 9th. Our team has actually got in front of us into Q3 and Q2, so we will be starting on the ultra softs. But anyway, this is my uh, full lap of my fastest lap of Q3. Go around turn one. Got a car ahead of us, which I don't know who it is, but hopefully they're fast enough so they don't hold us up that much. But anyway, into Casino, got a slight left hand. It is Valtteri Bottas, actually. He held us up a bit in practice for some of our laps, but that's not really that much, like, that that bad of a problem and now we do go wide on the right hand I don't actually know what that call, that's called but now Lowe's hairpin we go on the curb on the entrance on the inside um, which does actually rotate the car a bit more than like not going on it it like, helps the car rotate but I'll through the iconic tunnel with Max Verstappen uh, goes purple but now down to the um, Novell chicane going a bit deep Dig we got held up by Bottas a tad there but it doesn't really hold us up too much, like they could be worse. Lewis Hamilton goes purple, but now we're the swim pool chicane. On the right hander of that little chicane, we do cut a tad, but it, it's not really that much of a like time gainer. Now through Raskas, we go a tad bit wide, clip in the corner. Now around the last corner, we go hit the uh, en uh, exit, Anthony knows, well, I don't know what it's called. But we go P5 with a 114, I think that says. Can't really see, but we do go faster actually. That was a lie about the Bobby my fastest lap, but it's my cleanest probably. We go faster, so we set a 114 something rather. A 114.8 in Q3, and that does put us 7th. So, for the race coming up, we're going to be starting 7th just ahead of our teammate, and it goes Mercedes, Ferrari, Red Bull, Renault, and a Hassan Force India mess it up. God's sake, Magnussen, Perez, what are you doing? Could have had. Like amazing, but anyway, let's go into the race. And there's another very excited little chap here beside me as well. It's our very own Anthony Davidson. Great to see you again today. Thanks for that, Crofty. And I'm really anxious to get underway here. We've got all the makings of a great race today. World champions in competitive cars, lots of drivers on form, and I suspect a few strategists on the pit wall looking to try something a bit different and maybe jump their cars up the order. With that then, let's run through the grid order. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Raikkonen, Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, and Verstappen, Palmer, Hülkenberg, Magnussen, and Sergio Perez, Massa, Grosjean, Fernando Alonso, and Kvyat, Ocon, Sainz, Stoffel van Dorn, and Pascal Wehrlein, Stroll, and Marcus rounds off the grid. And now, it's time to head down to the track. So now we're on the grid, let's have a look at our strategy. It's ultra sus, ultra sus, sus. For the two-stop of today in the Monaco Grand Prix. But anyway, hopefully we can get a good start into Turn 1. I, I don't, I'm really bad at calling names, not gonna lie. But anyway, we get like, we'll go for our formation lap. Hopefully, 
Oh, yeah, like I say, we're hoping to get a good start. We've got a teammate to flight behind us, so he could probably help keep people in bet at bay. Like, hopefully he doesn't dive up on the inside of us into turn one. Because that will, like, give us less momentum up the hill. Uh, which would be unfortunate. It also would, would mean that we don't gain any positions, which is not what you want. Turn one is probably the best place to get positions. But anyway, we got one, two, three, four lights, five lights. Lights out, the way we go for the Monaco Grand Prix. We're going on the right start, we got um, the Haas behind us. We're already having a look of, um, around the outside, but we've actually got ahead of the two Red Bulls into Turn 1. What a start from us, round P5. We've got Sebastian Vettel ahead of us. Hopefully we can try and catch him up, but now um, on lap 1, the safety car's been deployed. I think there's a massive like collision into um, the hairpin, and like everyone who gets stuck is like, yeah. But anyway, the safety car's out. That one, this is going to help the tyre wear quite a lot. As it's going to like mean that we don't use as much. But anyway, lap three, we're going with green. And we're racing around the, the streets of Monte Carlo. But now, into turn one, look at this. Sebastian Vettel's just gone. And the fourth, uh, the top four just disappeared. But they've got the two Ferraris, the two... Um, oh, now Kimi Raikkonen. What's going on here? Kimi Raikkonen around the ex um, and, uh, exit of the casino has held his teammate up so much. But anyway, we're going around the inside of the right hand. We're going to have the outside of the Novo chicane. The lows hairpin, I'm sorry. We're going around the outside. There's a bit of collision. We've touched the wall. There's no damage for this race because I thought it turned it off because of Monaco and I'll probably like, crash out after lap one. But we've managed to get the position on lap four. So now into P4. We've got Kimi Raikkonen. There's a yellow flag behind us. Not really sure what's going on here. I think we're going to get some replays of what's going on here. But now we're on board Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, I think this is Daniel Ricciardo anyway. And it got the Ferrari ahead of him. The Ferrari's actually lost. He's done what his teammate did, Kimi Raikkonen. On the exit of the casino, he's, like, touched the wall or something like that by the looks of that. And he's just lost the back end. His teammate did this a couple of laps ago, which actually mean, like, was the result of us overtaking him. But anyway, lap 4, no, lap 19, Daniel Ricciardo going around the inside through the casa um, car... Uh, castle section of a course uh, through the tunnel but we've kept the position let's have a look at that again right, we get a really bad momentum out of the right hander through the um, tunnel but we have the inside line for the no rush cane and he just backs out of it we go a bit wide of like corner cut over there um, like the little curb there but anyway lap 21 we're in for our first pit stop for off the old softs onto a second set. So hopefully our team can get a good like give us a good pit stop. Uh ooh, two point seven seconds, but now look. This had like a glitch and it wouldn't let me go, so I just had the flashback. I'm sorry about this. But yeah, I just had the flashback because I'm not gonna sit there <laughs> forever. Losing all the positions. I'm sorry. But anyway, hopefully I'll put well, we get a bit of pit stop, 2.6, and we can actually go. I think that's says 2.6, 2.8, I think, actually. I can't, it's really hard to see. But anyway, we've got a cut out of P6. We've got a little bit of contact on the wall. Made that P8. Oh, Randy, we're going to cut the corner, because that's the pit lane. And, but, unfortunately, Daniel Ricciardo's managed to keep, stay ahead of us. We're at 23. Coming up to the lows hairpin. I'm going to actually dive, but not inside of Daniel Ricciardo. I'm going to squeeze my step a little bit. Daniel Ricciardo's, we've had a little bit of contact, but I think we can conclude. And we rammed the back of Alonso. We've gained both the positions. We're in P6 now. We need to get past Fernando and Felipe. But you can't really see our pass on Daniel Ricciardo there because of the trees. But anyway, there's no contact. We're just not touching. But the hitbox or whatever it's called, like if there's a hitbox on this game, just acted. And so we had hit, which is unfortunate. No damage done because no damage on. But anyway, lap 24, we're going to up the inside of Fernando. Squeeze him out. Oh, we're a bit sideways. We hit the wall. That was probably my fault. And we hit the wall on the exit of um, the hairpin. It's still fighting. I do squeeze him out on the right hander though. I don't know what turn that is, what number or name. Let's have another look at that. We ground the outside. We squeeze him a little bit into the hairpin as well. But we still go wide somehow. But I do just I squeeze him out. He's got the two Red Bulls fierce like right behind him. And they're going to be wanting to catch up to him because oh, if they can't get past him, 
then they're going to be stuck and I'll be able to get away. But now, lap 26, is something happened with Felipe Massa? We're going to dive up the inside. Oh, wow, I was not expecting that. We just dived up the inside. But now, lap 42, nothing happened from when we passed, passed Felipe to lap 42. For where we're coming into a pit, we're going to go off the ultra softs onto the super softs. And this is going to be to go right to the end. Hopefully our tyre could do it. We're in P6 at the moment. We've got the two Red Bulls have passed us. And I think they might stay ahead of us. A lap car actually just go past us. I didn't include that. There's a yellow flag. I think I, I don't know why, but I got... That was a yellow flag. That was an awful entrance and exit, I mean. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Max Verstappen coming up the pits. Jeez. Wow. We're in the P5. But now, this is the Ferrari of Vettel and Verstappen fighting through the car swimming pool section but um Daniel Caviar um, oh my god nice words Verstappen managed to keep the position we're in P5 we've now got the Red Bull going up the inside through not up the hill we've got a Casino we're going to leave him space on the inside he's still there we're going to have the inside line for this next corner though we've, oh, we've hit the wall and that's sent us that slingshotted us across but now let's have a look, look at this again so close between the, the Red Bull and the Renault of us. Same power engines, like units, so it's just up to drag and reduction stuff. But now, Sebastian Vettel's actually managed to get past us. But on lap 77, Kimi Raikkonen comes home to win the Monaco Grand Prix. But now, we're going to come home for 5th place, which... 10 points? That's actually not that bad. For a Renault, at least. It's ahead of the two Red Bulls. One of the Red Bulls, one of the Ferraris. Uh, yeah, that, it, it could have been better, it could have been 4th, 3rd, 2nd or 1st, but realistically, this is probably the best we could get. I say realistically, we won in Russia, but that's because of the OP strategy um, of no stops, because <laughs> we don't really need to, but um, yeah, pretty good result, I'm happy with that. Uh, I don't actually know where my teammate come, and he come 13th, great. So, no, I love it when you have to carry your team to your place to the constructors. But anyway, that has been the Monaco Grand Prix. I've been CCH Gaming. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in Canada. Bye.